This week on Sport Fishing, we're at Catalina Island. We're gonna start off fishing with rods and reels, try to catch some rockfish, and then once the sun goes down, we're gonna drop poop nets down to the bottom to catch lobsters. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Nice rock fish. Lots of fish coming up right now. Good spot we're on. Let's see what I got here. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes mine. Nice scoping. This is a scoping. They're out of season, right? Yeah. It's a nice we, have one. To... we just had one to come up too. Nice one. Yeah, this is a nice size sculpin. Normally can keep these, but there's a season on them. Right now the season's closed. We're the last day of November here in Southern California, Catalina Island. And uh, if we could keep them, we would, but we can't. Real quick, every one of these points you see on here are poisonous. So it won't kill you, but it's like a bad bee sting. And all around the, the fish, there's all those sharp points. They all have, they all have venom, they all have poison. Beautiful right. specimen. Hey, oh. oh, sorry. Oh, wow. We got another one, I think another one came up. Okay. And this is a rig I'm fishing, just two bucktails and a dropper loop rig. Fishing it right on the bottom, a little strip of squid, and that's what I caught that fish on. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Trident and Catalina, and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for fishing and for catching lobsters tonight here at Catalina Island. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the gear we're using for hoop netting today. And uh, you're going on a sport boat or a private charter, don't worry about going out and buying the gear. It'll all be provided for you. But for those of you that like to go lobster fishing from a pier or on your own boat, there's some new rules that have changed from the state of California this year for lobster fishing. And standing next to me is Ed from Promar, and he's gonna explain them for us. Okay, this year the new regulation is that uh, when you uh, hoop net, make sure that you have your go ID number on each buoy. It's uh, recommended now by law to have it. Um, it's mandatory. To, mandatory, yes, to have uh, your go ID numbers on the buoys, okay? And, and if you don't know what your go ID is, it's on your fishing license. You'll see it right there. Right, and also uh, make sure you put lights on your buoys so people don't run them over, you don't lose your gear, and also put anyone else in danger if you're near a break wall or anything. So make sure you're using LED lighting, or you can use the regular uh, glow sticks, okay? Just I like the LED because we actually use them for a whole season. 
they last, sure. they work out pretty good. Okay, so you can use the standard uh, glow stick or you can use the LED and these also, these flash and they're also steady. So whenever you use them, you, uh, when you do your first pull, you can have them solid. And then uh, when you go to pull them again, so you know you pulled that one, set it in blink mode. And it's always a great thing. It's very safe that way with have your lights on, your buoys. That's a good tip. That way you always know which ones you have to check next. Right. All right, cool. Well, thanks a lot, Ed. No problem. Thank you. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> So these are the hoop nets that we have here. These are Promar hoop nets. And what the guys are gonna do right now, they have them baited already. This one has salmon heads in them. We were done fishing with the rods and reels for the day. Now this is the tackle we're using, hoop nets. And we're gonna be in rather deep water, over 200 feet of water. So they're getting all the lines ready here. And uh, we're waiting for our captain Shane to let us know when to drop them over and the guys are all ready. So the plan, there he goes. So we're going to drop all 10 hoop nets in the water after they've been down there for about 45 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll start checking them. They're dropping all the line down here. Burns hard. Come on, Maurice. No <laughs> heavy breathing. Here we go. Oh, this looks huh? Yeah. Here's Maurice. This is our first, oh. first hoop net of the night. Oh. We're going to see if there's any lobsters in this one. Stop pulling. Stop Stop pulling. Stop pulling. Stop pulling. Stop pulling. Oh. There we go. Nice. Two oh, lobsters. Nice. Maybe one legal. Yeah. Okay, this is the first lobster. We just checked the first hoop net. Now we're gonna go check the second one. Okay, this is Travis on the hoop net right here. See how he does. You got lucky, this is a shallow one, Travis. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's not one of the 300 foot ones. It's like 180 feet. Under 200 feet. Hopefully we got some legals in it. Here you go, just stay like that, nice and easy. Stop pulling. Stop. There they come. Yeah, it's too, too small. You're your first legal of the night. Yeah. Is that your first legal lobster ever? Yeah. All right, it's first lobster ever. <laughs> These two did so good last year on our lobster trip Amazing last that uh, they had to Great come back. Trip. They were the first ones to sign up for this trip. So let's see how they're doing here. You're only halfway there. <laughs> you have one more hour to go. <laughs> go, Cynthia, go. There we go. Don't stop, don't stop. There you go. Come on, don't stop. Stay right up there. Stay right up there. Oh yeah. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Oh! Oh! There's at least three, four legals in that one. Here's all the lobsters down here. Big so one. all the obvious big ones will go straight in the basket. Here's Cynthia's first uh, attempt for the night. She's got four. She only needs three more, and she's limited out for the night. Yay. I don't know if she could last a couple more pulls. I don't know. <laughs> all right, good job. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action here. We're going to try and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these beautiful, delicious lobsters that we just caught. Nice job. Thanks.
This week in the galley, we're in West Los Angeles, right across the street from the Improv on Melrose at the Red O Restaurant. And standing next to me is the head chef here, Chef Anthony. Thanks for inviting us over, man. No worries, no worries. And Chef Anthony reached out to us. We put a post on our Facebook page looking for some chefs to do cooking segments for us. And he was kind enough to help us out. And what do you have in store for us, Chef? Today we're going to be doing our lobster dish that we have here at the restaurant. Um, we have a West Coast lobster. We're going to bring it out. Um, first, because uh, the shell's nice and hard, right? So we want to pierce through the skin, crack it all the way down, flip it around, and we're going to do back the same thing. So we get two halves nice set there. We're going to pull out the lobster from the shell. From the shell. Okay. See so yeah, a nice little color there? We're going to do that to both. All right. When you cook it, do you leave it in the shell? We do leave it in the shell because uh, we don't want it to curl up. Uh, we want it to be as straight as possible. You know, definitely make sure we clean it as much as possible as well. We're going to hit it with olive oil and salt. How come all you chef guys do this? Salt you know, from altitude. It's, it's does, a thing. Does that make it even? Or? Yeah, basically, because if you end up doing it really low, you end up with a lot more clumps. But if you go from up high, it ends up spreading out a lot easier. So, you know, you want to make sure that the guest isn't overwhelmed by one bite of, okay. of his food, you know? Yeah, because I see you guys do that every week. So, it's <laughs> why is it always so high? So, from here, we'll lay it down right onto the grill. Okay. Um, now, I noticed this grill. There's wood. Is there any special wood we have in here? Yes. Yeah, so we work with predominantly citrus and fruit trees. Uh, the restaurant brings in about uh, 500 pounds of wood every month for our guests. Um, I mean, it adds to the smokiness, the flavor that, that we really, really like on our, our food, and it just pairs well, really nice with the food. Yeah. All right. I always hear like mesquite, but I never hear of. Trees. Yeah, you know, it's just predominantly in Mexico. I mean, mesquite they work with, but it's it's because overwhelming citrus trees and stuff like that they have in Mexico. That's the reason we use it here in the restaurant. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so from here, we're going to saute our uh, white Mexican rice with a uh, fennel broth that we make here in-house. So it's basically water with fennel seed that we saute, and a little bit of cilantro as well. Uh, we blend that together and create this broth. Now once, once we blend it together, we, we definitely strain it so uh, that the seeds aren't, aren't incorporated too much into the liquid. Um, so we got that working over here. That was a nice touch. That's a nice color developing on the lobster. We went ahead and roasted a little while ago uh, fennel and uh, knob onions. So it's, knob onions are larger uh, Mexican onions that we use here in the restaurant. So once we get that nice and brown, um, we let it sit aside, heat it up again right before we knock out the dish. While that's working, I'll go ahead and grab the lobster tail, just because it's a little bit thicker. We'll go ahead and get them nicely set here on the sizzle plates. As you can see, you get nice good grill marks on them. All right, then from here, we'll go straight into the oven so they can finish and cook all the way through. Um, I know I said all the way through, but uh, same with fish and lobster and seafood like that. We, we like to make sure that we still work with the medium consistency. You don't want to have dry lobster tails. You don't want to have dry uh, shrimp. It all goes hand in hand the same way you would cook a medium rare steak. So now that we've uh, finished the mixture with our rice and fennel broth, we're going to pull out the lobster. Check the doneness, that looks nice. Uh, then from here, after we have all that set, I'm gonna bring down our plate. I'm gonna start off by building the plate with the rice, with the fennel broth. So that's a nice good layer of it right in the center of the plate. And from here, using obviously hands, <laughs> uh, we're layering the lobster right onto the dish, okay? Got a nice good build right up to the center. Then we'll go ahead and we'll layer our fennel and roasted onions around the dish. All right. 
This is for one person? This is for one person, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then we finish it off with a tajin butter sauce. So basically it's a, a citrus butter sauce that we finish the dish, dish off with. A nice little good coating there, you know. I think butter and seafood uh, go have, been hand married, hand. have been married since the beginning of time. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and grab, this is our purple watercress and our fennel fronds and our lime garlic dressing. Give it a good toss. Always, always season. Good toss together. And we'll finish it off right in the center of the dish. There you go. Sexy lobster and rice. That's good. I think the only thing left then is for you to give it a shot. I get to sample this one? <laughs> I'm already foaming at the mouth, I'm so excited. <laughs> Anthony, this looks beautiful. I mean, just, that is gorgeous. This looks so good. Mmm. I always love lobster, but that sauce you added on, that butter sauce, what exactly is in that? So we use tahin salt. So in Mexico, it's like a citrus a citrus salt that they make. Mm -hmm. um, so we get heavy cream and butter, combine them together, and then finish it off with the tahin salt on top. And I guess this is a signature just here at the Red O restaurant? Definitely is. Yeah, this is really good. Thank you, Chef Anthony. Thanks for coming by. It's really good. We're at the Red O restaurant on Malrose here in West LA. Beautiful dish. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. There you go. Good job! Oh! <laughs> Five. One, two, three. You got two on that one. Show, show the lobsters. Back there, Reese is dying back there. He's not even looking away. <laughs> Think about the wedding plan. Dan, <laughs> don't stop, don't stop. Come on. About a quarter of the way. Okay, stop, stop. There we go. Are you freaking kidding me? Might be legal. Gotta measure this one. It's a lot bigger than the one I got. Legal. Yeah. Legal. Barely legal. Yeah. Is it legal? Yeah. Barely legal. Yeah. 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 So the camera, they can see how happy you are. <laughs> Good job. Little camera. <laughs> Hold it up. 
It's all about teamwork out here today. It's all about teamwork. Got a whole bunch of friends together on this trip. Okay, stop, stop, stop. stop. Here's Ben, one hoop net, seven legals, and he had seven shorts that we had to throw back. So heavy. Congratulations. He's done for the day. No more for him. That's his limit. All right, congratulations. All right. We're going to take a little break from the action, and when we return aboard the Triton, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. And this is what a giant lobster looks like if you haven't seen it before. All right, nice job. <laughs> For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we got the lobsters today. And the big tip is when you start bringing the rope in, bring that hoop net off the bottom, is not to stop. If you stop, the lobsters will jump out and you won't have any lobsters. So that's this week's tip. When you start to bring in the hoop net, start pulling on the rope, do not stop, just be consistent. Don't jerk with the rope, just bring it straight in and you'll get those lobsters. Well, I want to thank the crew of the Trident. We had lots of fun fishing with them today. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.